Hi kids! Today we will identify various shapes depending on their geometric properties. So let's get started. Polygon A polygon is a 2D figure with three or more straight sides. So let's mark which of the following figures are polygons. We just learned polygons have only straight sides or edges. So, this figure is not a polygon. This is a polygon, as it has all straight sides. This figure is not a polygon, as its edges are not straight. This is a polygon as its all edges are straight. Yeah, this too is a polygon. This is also a polygon. This is also a polygon. This is not a polygon as it doesn't have straight edges. This is a polygon as it has all straight edges. This is not a polygon. So we have selected all the polygons out of these shapes. Now let's learn what are regular polygons. A polygon where all the sides and internal angles are same is a regular polygon. Example, this is a polygon where all the sides are same. Also, all the internal angles are same. So it's a regular polygon. Here is another example. All the sides and angles are same in this figure. So this is a regular polygon. Now which of the following figures are regular polygons? Yeah. These figures are regular polygons out of these, as these figures have all sides and angles same. Now, let's learn about irregular polygons. Are these regular polygons? No, they are not regular polygons, as neither their vertices, not their internal angles, are same as they are irregular polygons. Now, which of the following figures are irregular polygons? Yeah, this, this, and this. These three figures are irregular polygons out of these. Now let's learn what are quadrilaterals. The polygons that have four sides are known as quadrilaterals. Here are some polygons. Let's figure out which of the following are quadrilaterals. We know quadrilaterals have exactly four sides. Neither more nor less, exactly four sides. Here, these shapes out of all the shapes have four sides. So these are quadrilateral. Now, let's learn what are parallel lines. Lines that do not meet each other, even on extending, are known as parallel lines. Parallel lines are always equidistant from each other. They are never meet each other, no matter how long we extend them. These figures have one or more pair of parallel lines. They can never meet each other, and the distance between them always remains the same. Here are some polygons. Let's see which of these figures have one or more parallel lines. This figure has a pair of parallel lines. These pair of lines is parallel. That is, these lines can never meet each other, no matter how long we extend them. 
and this pair of lines is not parallel. They will meet each other if you extend them, like this. This figure has two pairs of parallel lines. This figure also has two pairs of parallel lines. This figure does not have any parallel lines. This figure has many pairs of parallel lines. This figure has two pairs of parallel lines. This figure does not have any parallel lines. This figure has many pairs of parallel lines. So we have marked all the shapes that have one or more pairs of parallel lines. Now let's learn what are intersecting lines. Lines that meet each other at a single point are called intersecting lines. A minimum of two lines are required for intersection. The point where two lines meet is called the point of intersection. Here, the lines L and M meet at point Q. Here, Q is the point of intersection, and lines L and M are intersecting lines. Now, which of the following figures have intersecting lines? Only these three figures have intersecting lines. The other three figures do not have any intersecting lines. And these are the point of intersection in these figures with intersecting lines. Now let's learn what are congruent figures. Figures that have same shape as well as same size are called congruent figures. Let's figure out which of the following figures are congruent figures. Yeah, these figures are congruent as they have same shape as well as same size. Now let's learn what are similar figures. Figures that have same shape are called similar figures. Size can be same or different but the shape must be same. Such figures are called similar figures. These are a few examples of similar figures. Here, in case of these stars, they have same shape, so they are similar figures. Their size is also same. In case of these two pentagons, shape is same, so they are similar, but the size is different. In case of these arrows, shape is same, so these are similar figures, although their size is different. So we learned that figures with the same shape are similar. Their size can be same or different. Which of the following figures are similar figures? Yeah, these figures are similar as they have same shape. Remember, if the figures have both same shape as well as size, they are both similar as well as congruent. As similar figures means same shape and Congruent figures means same shape as well as same size. So all congruent figures are similar too. But all similar figures are not congruent, as they may or may not have same size too. Now let's learn what are symmetrical figures. Figures that can be folded or divided into half so that the two halves can completely cover each other are called symmetrical figures. These are examples of symmetrical figures. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more.
Bye bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.